From remember, I was around the kid in 2004. Every day with him, his mom, and her boyfriend <laughs> on the boat. I literally was watching his movement. Like, wow, this is interesting. They really told you you the king. They really, really told you you was the king. See, when you not, when you don't grow up the king, and you grow up the way how we grew up, it's a little different. See, because you can really get into the NBA and you can forget. Let me tell you how you can forget. You go from not having nothing, and then you go to having everything, right? So now all of a sudden, your mind, it forgets. Because now you got butlers, you got all these different people, you got people to dress you. That's not your swag. Come on, you was a bum when you grew up, <laughs> LeBron. You was a bum. That's what you were. You, you were a bum just like I was a bum. We all were bums. So now this whole new idea of you being this king, right, I'm trying to understand, like, this theory of being the king. Because I told you, you got to be a servant before you can be a king. You can't be a king if you're not a servant. So, I know people was waiting for me to wait on this. I'll give you, you are one of the greatest players ever. But if you ever, in your motherfucking life, disrespect Michael Jordan again, you see what's happening right now? This movement is not going to stop. I don't know what happened when you went to L.A. I think when you went to L.A., they really, really told you, oh, you've arrived, King. Because this is what happened when people fly into L.A. Everybody, all basketball players who play in other cities. See, when you play in Minnesota and you go to L.A., it's like you're going to Disneyland. When you play in the NBA or certain teams like Milwaukee Bucks, all the cities where there's not really much to do, when you go to L.A., it's like, <gasps> now LeBron grew up in Akron, Ohio. Right? He grew in Akron, Ohio. I'm not saying Akron, Ohio is bad. I grew up in New York City. So it's completely different. You grow up different. It's just completely different, right? So now you you stay in Cleveland, all Akron, all your life, and then you go to Cleveland and you live in Cleveland for eight years. So I'm thinking about what your brain thinking about why you living in Cleveland and you growing up in Cleveland. All right. So then now you go to Miami to the south, where it's hot, and man, the Spanish mommies down there. I ain't even got to go into talking about that. All right, cool. Because everybody know about the Spanish mommies at the Miami Heat games. So you go there, you, you, oh man, your wife say, no, we not living here no more. Let's go. We out. We going back home. You go back home. This real shit right here. Excuse my language. Now you play there. You promised them we going to win a ring here. We going to do this. 52 years come. I'm going to do like Isaiah Thomas did on Players Only. I got to take a time out. <laughs> Isaiah said. <laughs> I was. Just, Isaiah Oh, I got it. Hold on. I just got to take a time out on this one. <laughs> just not fight. Okay, so we make up. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Making up with Isaiah Thomas, you kind of like just go to him because he's already the basketball guard, right? So you're like, damn. How do I really say sorry to him but still keep my manhood and be like, yeah, but I stood up to you. You don't. You just say, I love you. <laughs> and you give him a hug. <laughs> and then he say to me, love conquers all stuff. And I go, damn, it was that easy. I could have bended this shit. 
I could have stopped this feeling a long time ago, even though I was bad. Gotta take a time out, man. I gotta take a time out. What were you thinking? You really, really fell for the okie doke, man. They tricked you again on ESPN. First, they tricked you with the, the decision. With the, the decision. Remember the, the decision? When you announced to everybody that you was leaving, going from Cleveland to Miami, everybody knew you was leaving. What the f*** are you thinking about when you sit there and you looking at your phone and you watching TV? You said, what were you thinking about? You played yourself. Now you ain't playing yourself on a different level. I told you, man, you can't shoot. LeBron, how you gonna be better than Michael Jordan? We're not talking about me. I'm shit. I'm doo doo. I'm doo doo stuff. We're not talking about. How you gonna? How you gonna say you better than Michael Jordan and you can't shoot? You can't make a fucking free throw, man. You stand on the free throw line and you fall into the middle of the paint, man. You can't even shoot. You can't teach kids how to play basketball and shoot and ball and don't know how to shoot. This is a real basketball player talking, dude. This ain't one of your fans. You can't even shoot. And you talking about you better than Michael Jordan? You must be out of your mind. 